right, everybody, this is part two of uh, making a natural garden, um, basically a wild garden. And um, my battery died yesterday when I was just about ready to show you the seeds and stuff, so I did a to-be-continued kind of. I didn't mean to leave anybody hanging, but here's the seeds that we're going to be planting in the, in the wild garden. Now, I got a five-pound bag of striped sunflower seeds from the tractor supply company. This is only $6.99. It was like 7 bucks. And um, that's just over a dollar a pound. So that's a great deal. Um, I got a big bag of uh, sunflower seeds from 420 Homestead that he grew in his yard. And I'm actually going to be planting them back there. Um, I don't have that many I got from so I'm kind of be I'm going to be plant direct planting those. These were going to be just thrown everywhere. Um, now I also got a bird seed mix that's got uh, the black oil sunflower seeds in there. And uh, you can get these at you can get these at Walmart, just about anywhere. Um, I've got a bag of wildflowers. Um, now this isn't all wildflowers. I didn't find that out until I bought it. Uh, but there's also inert material, and it looks like gypsum or something like that in there with it. So, so I'm gonna throw these in there with it. Now the reason I did wildflowers, the wildflowers actually. Um, they bring in pollinators, uh, they bring biodiversity to a garden, and they're also bringing in not only the, the good predators um, to prey on the bad insects, but they, it, they keep things biodiverse, and you don't want too much of one thing. And, uh, some cher uh, cherry tomato seeds, some uh, sugar baby watermelon. Uh, these are some green beans, and then the black ones are Cherokee, those yellow Cherokee beans. So that'll be cool. They'll kind of be some nitrogen fixers. They'll vine up everything a little bit. Um, some peppers, jalapeno peppers, and some pumpkins. And a bag of onions, two bags of onions. I uh, got a bag of uh, sweet onions and also yellow onion bulbs. So, so I got two bags of these. Um, basically, it's basically going to be a sunflower garden. Oh, there goes my bag. So it's basically going to be a sunflower garden with uh, wildflowers mixed in there, um, some onions and stuff like that. And I'll probably be planting more into it, but this is just kind of like a like a little foundation for them. So, uh, yeah, you learn. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so let's start throwing some seeds. I think we'll start with the big bags first. Do you want to do the wildflowers or do you want to do the sunflowers? I'll do the, I'll do the wildflowers. And then we'll go back in. Once everything's planted, we'll plant the onions, kind of try to spread them all out. And we'll, we'll show you how we're going to do that. So, so stay tuned. I'm just going to get a clip of us like... You know, essentially we're planting bird seeds, so I think that's another good reason to have as much of it as you can because the birds love sitting in these trees and eating stuff out of here early in the morning, so, so that's another reason why. Now, Masonobu Fukuoka would make seed balls, and he'd basically take uh, clay, dried clay, and roll it around with some seeds and make seed balls and throw them out there. Now, the reason why he would do that was because it would stop the birds. Birds wouldn't eat them. Um, you're basically creating like a little shell that when it water, I mean, it'll start growing inside that clay ball the second it gets wet. And um, we're not doing that, but we're still going to cover it all up with uh, some hay and some straw, hopefully trying to hold it down and, and uh, make it harder for the birds to get to it all. You're out of that, man. Just grab some more. I'm going to. I'm just trying to. Beans, there we go. Start putting the beans now. Should I actually do the beans the same way I do the, yeah. the onions, kind of with a stick? 
Can I make a hole and drop it in the hole and step on it? You want to do that? Yeah, see, I got the, I got the bamboo over there yeah. somewhere. I'll make sticks. I'll make hole. You make uh, your floor. Get the handful. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I'm going to plant one in the ball uh, hole. So even with the little packets, there's not a lot of seeds in these. They're very cheap. Um, just kind of rip them up. Just spread them all out, just like hey, that. What did you find? Praying mantis nest. Are you kidding? How weird is that? Holy I was just talking crap. about you. Well, I got the video from putting up post the video. Mom? Yeah, Mom? Funny, we were just talking about these. This here is a praying mantis nest. I found this out because uh, when I was in Virginia, I found one of these and I brought it home because I used to collect weird things. And then it hatched, and I had about a thousand of them all over my room. So I will never forget what these look like. I mean, look at it. Yeah, you did. You're right, man. Yeah. It's one of those beneficial. Uh, did I say beneficial? It's like a giant honeycomb or like a bee, or like those uh, a wasp, like a wasp nest. Dude. No, actually, it goes up like this on a branch, and then they just all come out. Found one at Felipe's place, too. What should we do with this? Should we do it? I would just leave it the way it was, naturally. We're going to step on it, though, man. We'll, we'll put it back in after we're done with it. I'll put it in the bag. Or somewhere. Uh, it's a natural uh, pesticide, pretty much. That you, I mean, they're pretty cool-looking creatures, and they take care of all the other pests that you're going to have out here. <coughs> the thing that we're going to plant before we cover it all up with straw is all the onions. And the way we're going to do the onions we're just going to take this bamboo, poke a hole in the ground, put the onion in there. They're still pretty small, so just kind of twirl around, get a big enough hole, do that, and then just kind of cover it up with your foot. And get some, uh, hopefully get some good onions come fall or something like that. If not, we'll get some good green onions and eat the tops of them. All right, everybody. Oh, let's see if I get this right. Well, we finished doing the spreading the straw and everything, and it's just a real thin layer, not too much. Uh, we can always probably add some more and stuff like that, but the baby definitely sure helps. He likes throwing stuff at Jim. He'd be nice. There's a stick in that one. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can kind of see the little squared air off, squared off area just from the new. Uh, the new straw that's in here, it's a lot darker than the rest of it. You can see it right here. You kind of see the little dark area, the dark patch. Right here. So, <laughs> you 
He's helping. You spread, you spread all your hay very easily. You fix it up? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Almost forgot the little praying mantis egg sack. We'll find a nice good spot for it right in the middle somewhere. As long as the baby's not going to be playing with it. No, no. Should I keep it kind of protected? No. Yeah, kind of just like, I would like to, yeah, like that. Not to cover it crazily. Just so that way to yeah. keep some of the elements off it. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of little praying mantises eating all the bad bugs and the sunflowers. I want to see them. I like praying mantis. <laughs> take, it, take it easy, guys.